Hello. My name is Pat, and I am here to tell you about learning theory of constructivism. Constructivism can be described as a theory that deals with the way people create meaning of the world through a series of individual constructs. Constructs are the different types of filters we choose to place over our realities to change our reality from chaos to order. Von Glazersfeld describes constructivism as a theory of knowledge with roots in philosophy, psychology, and cybernetics. Simply stated, it is a learning process which allows a student to experience an environment firsthand, thereby giving the student reliable, trustworthy knowledge. The student is required to act upon the environment to both acquire and test new knowledge. John Dewey believed education must engage with and expand experience. Those methods used to educate must provide for exploration, thinking, and reflection. And that interaction with the environment is necessary for learning. Also, that democracy should be upheld in the educational process. Dewey advocates the learning process of experiential learning through real-life experience to construct and conditionalize knowledge, which is consistent with the constructivists. Also, Maria Montessori's beliefs are consistent with the constructivists in that she advocates a learning process which allows a student to experience an environment firsthand, thereby giving the student reliable trustworthy, conditionalized, knowledge. David A. Kolb and Roger Fry argue that the learning cycle can begin at any one of the four points, and that it should really be approached as a continuous spiral. However, it is suggested that the learning process often begins with a person carrying out a particular action and then seeing the effect of the action in this situation. Following this, the second step is to understand these effects in the particular instance, so that, if the same action were taken in the same circumstances, it would be possible to anticipate what would follow from the action. In this pattern, the third step would be to understand the general principle under which the particular instance falls. Cobb's beliefs are consistent with the constructivists in that he includes concrete experience as part of the learning process and requires a student to test knowledge by acting upon the environment, thereby giving the student reliable, trustworthy, conditionalized, Knowledge Kolb's work closely parallels recent work in the field of neuroscience, exemplified in the writings of James Zool. I've got to reach you.